and welcome back to episode three of the Metroid Prime Remaster. Here we are at the vault, and there's a thing in there that I can't quite get to yet to solve the mystery. Uh, there's some more lore here. There's been downloaded a logbook, translated. The future's a vague thing, ever changing and always in doubt. Even if we chose, could gain the ability to foresee the future, it would be a hollow gift, for we could never hope to control what has yet to occur. The fountain is an example of this. The day we may come, the day may come when its water dries up, and there is nothing we could do to stop such a tragedy. But we do know this: unlike the uncertain flow of water, the power of our will is strong and enduring. The will of Chozo will never run dry. Inspiring words for us all. So metal gates are blocking this. It appears, I see. This is the second of three locking mechanisms that steal the gate. The lock is active, but its key slot is sealed by a weak metal grating. Third of three locking mechanisms to seal the gate. The lock is active, and this key slot is open. And this is the first. Okay, I know what I have to do here, but I don't have what I need to do it yet. So let's continue onwards. Oh, more beetles. Take care of them. What's in here for me? Nothing. I like the like the reverb effect. Energy tank. Alrighty. Get more energy. Uh so where do we head now? Let's look at our map. So we have all this. I think all that's left is to dip into the Magmore Caverns. Let's go that way. See what we can get. Oh wait, but I can't go back the other way because the um, the slot is up. Oh wait, no. Hmm, maybe. Ah, okay. I thought it was like a drop down, but I guess not. Let's just go back then. Alrighty, to the elevator into Magmore Caverns. Armor is so shiny and nice and cool and awesome, and Samus the best. Love Samus. Alrighty, now we're in Magmore Caverns. See, sounds pretty dangerous. Sounds like a place I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to stay in for too long, at the moment. Nothing else to scan. All right, let's go. It's like a lift system. Whoop. Nothing to scan. Whoa. Hold on. Wait. Whoa. Couldn't fully scan him. Creatures. Shriek Bat. Territorial Stealing Dweller. Body temperature peaks at 121 degrees centigrade. They have high internal temperature, making them easy to spot with thermal imaging. They roost on cave ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. Yeah, well, I'm gonna shoot you then. I'm gonna shoot you. Um, yeah, I can't get those because I don't have a thing. Oh, look at the mist effect on the visor. Wow, I like bubbles this time. Look at that, the effect. I don't know if you can see it in the recording, but on my end, it's like a... You can see the bubbles fizzing and popping and stuff on the thing. That's really neat. It's a nice um, addition. All right, we have what we need to get through there. Get to see Samus's face a little bit. Another save room. Let's pop into here. A save, yes. Game has been saved. Energy fully replenished. So the one thing I don't like about this suit design is that Samus's arms stick out in a really weird way. Okay, go ahead and dive bomb. Do we are thing? Here's the thing. Quarter to logbook. Grisby, subvolcanic carrion feeder. Carapace can be breached by missiles. Grisby's carapace has been fused together by superheated air. The barrier stands up to everything but concussive blasts. Its intelligence is limited to ex instinctive scavenging patterns. That's unfortunate. You've scanned 25% of the logbook. New extras are unlocked in the main menu. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, I, I guess I am gonna go for like a, or at least 100% like scanning. 
tense heat readings detected behind this door. There's a lot of bubbling on my visor. Yeah, I can't go through there yet. I don't have the various suit. So let's go ahead and head back. Let's see. I'm gonna have to wait for that to come back down. Nothing to scan. This twin stick control scheme is really neat, really nice. It's like how shooters are supposed to be played. If I had a better controller, I could probably actually like aim and hit things without having to do the lock on. But, eh. What if I could change the sensitivity? Hold on, let me look at that. Look at Samus. Um, options. Uh, controls. Camera. Yes, sensitivity. Controlled by R. All. Oh. Uh, let's go there for now. Or like here. Whoa, way better. Wish the y-axis had more sensitivity, though. I can't change that, can I? Um, X, Y, there we go. Yes, this one as well. Yes, good. Okay, cool. Since uh, this is combined with the lock-on system, I don't have to be super pre precise anyway. So I can just flick around and then lock on. All right, back up. It appears as though that was not the correct way to go. Um, I guess I'll head back to Talon Overworld then, since I have some more places I can go just by default now. Uh, let's go this way then. Back here. Morph ball, back to where we were. Look up here, down here. Alrighty. This is amazing. Alrighty. Okay, now we're back out to the central area. Go ahead and jump down. Actually, what's up there? I can go up there now. Um, whoops. Jump up here, then up here. Uh, and I can hit that. Cool. There's not much... Uh... Whoops. Well, I got missiled. Um, there's not like a good level of control for uh, where I'm looking. Haha. -ha. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, these are all things I've seen. Yeah, I'm just going to collect them. So I can go in there now. Eh, remove thyself from my presence. And what's in here? Ooh. Fountain choked by overgrowth. Toxin levels are high. Recorded logbook. Nuchuzo lore entry. Translated. The surges of negative energy brought by the meteor far exceed our expectation. We chose to have yet to find a way to rid ourselves of the great poison. All we can do now is seal it away and wait for the day when a power to purify the poison appears. However, it is already impossible to collect all the pieces of the great poison as it has already spread, seeping into the planet and hardening. Hmm. No structural weaknesses detected in metalwork. Um, so those were some good metal workers then, because almost everything in this day and age here in Metroid Prime has structural weaknesses. So how do we get across here is the question. Um, looks like over this way. I can jump here, I can jump here. Now the poisonous fluids will not have an impact on me. More blast caps. And what's that? 
Terrain analysis complete. Toxin levels near 90% in local water supply. Wow. It's like more toxin than water. When decay flows, the hatchling will walk a poison path to the source. That's prophetic. Time of frosty draws ever closer. I was just saying. So that when the plants wilt and the creatures change and all life fades, the newborn will descend from the sky. I guess I'm the newborn? I'm a child. I'm a baby. Okay, aiming is a... Stop. Stop it. Cease. Jeez. Okay. That took a lot of energy. Anyway. Um, this might be a little bit too much. Anyway. Tense heat readings. Yeah, I would need the grapple beam to go across there anyway. So let's not go this way quite yet. Wow, they're pro-dodging experts. Energy, yes. Well, unfortunately, I can't get those. Charge beam when? Charge beam, please. Yeah, I needed a controller with more granular control. Oh, I can just jump across there. Let's go that way instead. Alrighty, yeah, I, I would really like a controller with more granular control because I would like the ability to like flick my view across the screen. But I also would like the ability to control very minute movements. Okay. That wasn't too bad. And I can jump up and reach those. Because Samus is an expert jumper. Aha! Good luck with the Reaper Vine. Powerful rock dwelling tentacle. A single eye upon the Reaper Vine keeps a constant vigil, but its vision is limited to 10 meters. A scythe like appendage on its tip is honed to lethal sharpness. The Reaper Vine will swing this blade wildly at anything that enters its zone of perception. Hmm. What's that? It's the presence of a runic symbol here. Okay. Those critical contact with contaminated water extremely hazardous. Right. Well, I have to get rid of these reaper vines so I can get across here. Oops. Nope. That one. Runic symbol has been activated. Four runic symbols in this room must be activated. Okay. Simple enough. Let's go ahead and break that door. Um, I can get across here, right? Yes. Get out of my way. Hey, cease. What's in here? Oh, the eh, eh. pathway with like pipes. They're all steamy. What's this place? I can hear an upgrade above me. Well, I'm going to first off shoot these things, probably. Open this up to a safe station. Yes. Alrighty. Game has been saved. Energy fully replenished. Good, good. Um, is that a thing to scan? No. Yeah, I really wish that... Hey. I really wish the... Um, the, the little, like, reflective mirror surfaces actually reflected in this one. They unfortunately do not. Downgrade. Okay. Now everything else looks great. The thing about Metroid Prime though is that it's just such a timeless game. Even the original, if you go back today and play, does not look that bad. It's uh obviously a low um low resolution. Not HD by any means, but you know it's it's fine for the time. Like it's probably one of the best looking games, if not the best looking game, I would argue. Uh, are these different? No, they're just all shriek bats. Okay. Well, there's a power up up there that I cannot quite reach yet, but let's see what's in here. More shriek bats. This water's pure, huh? Hmm. Aye. Let's just get through it. I 
There is a little bit of like auto aim going on here. Interested with that more shriek bats. Like I, I I'm not in completely on target, but it'll like automatically shoot towards them. I think that's oh. Hello. Who are you? Creature logbook. Download your logbook. Stone toad preys on creatures smaller than itself, vulnerable only from within. A stone toad is able to remain still for days. It preys upon creatures smaller than itself, inhaling them whole. Anything it finds undigestible, it regurgitates. Stone toads use their tusks as a last resort in combat. Well, okay. Um, well, I'm going to morph ball this way first. See what I can find. Uh, another morph ball hole. Go through here. This leads to a door. I can't go back the way I came, but thankfully this looks like a boss fight anyway. Ooh. Okay. What is this? Ooh. Mechanoid incinerator drone, programmed for high temperature waste disposal. This device schematics indicate a high risk of malfunction when internal power core is damaged. Unit has minimal pro combat programming, but can defend itself if, ne if necessary. This drone's intense heat blasts compensate for its lack of battle prowess. Hive, primary barbed war wasp dwelling, extremely durable wasp hive, can only be destroyed from by direct exposure to fire from below. Um, well, I guess I just gotta hold on. Uh, lock system engaged. Secure the area to unlock door. Okay. Well, that, yes, okay. One more, dude. Barbed war wasp. Airborne insect with the ability to launch its stinger at prey. Interesting. Highly aggressive member of the war wasp family. This insect can propel the tip of its stinger up to 20 meters. Stinger helps regrow seconds... Oh, the stinger tips regrow seconds after launch can contain an acidic compound designed to pre-digest prey. Interesting. Fortunately for them, they're also quite weak. Hit it. There we go. Alrighty, come on. Hey, get out of my way. It's getting hot in here. But don't take off your power suit, you're gonna need it. Alrighty, that did it. Burned the hive to a crisp. And now we get the Morph Ball Bomb, looks like. Nice. Yes. Now we got bombs. Alrighty. Now we just need the Charge Beam and the Varia Suit. And the Grapple Beam, but... That one not so much. Uh, to drop a bomb, okay. New extras. Getting extras like crazy. Oh, it didn't do it. Hold on. There we go. That's what it's supposed to do. Anyway, um, so like a, yeah, I can do that. And then go through here, and that gives me a missile. Give me this. Missile expansion. Open these up, get me some goodies, and now I can head on back out. So now I can destroy sandstone things. Nothing else, just that one. Let me look at my map. Yep, looks like it was just that one. Okay, back out. So now, I have my morph ball bomb. I can do that, and jump up places. I wonder, is it like... Oh yes, it is motion control, so I can motion control my way up for the jump. And this also means I can do this. Haha, <laughs> poor guy. 
Anyway. Appear to be operational. Device should operate once power has been restored. And I can, ooh, this is Gentry, it's no more false slot. This slot is active. Inserting the morph ball and detonating a bomb will usually cause these slots to send electrical impulses that can activate different types of devices. Well, in that case, Oh, this is like a timed thing. So I have to make it on out here this way. Get that one. And then this one leads me that way. Okay, so I have to go. Come on, where are we going? Over here. Get that one. Any more? Looks like it. Oh, I guess that completed the puzzle. Okay. Well, cool then. Now the, the area is drained. Is there anything I can grab now that this has been uh, exposed? Yeah, let's go this way. See what's down on this, down this way. Get those out of the picture. Shriek bats. There's just poison water, I guess so. Um, and that just leads back here. Okay, whoops. Now fully functional. So it's currently functioning. Okay, yeah, that's just telling me that it works. Well, okay. I guess this didn't uncover anything. I'm not seeing anything, so I'll just make my way through. I've done the puzzle. I've successfully completed the mission. And where does this lead me? There's a spider ball track. Can't go on that just yet. But I can go through here. Come on. Ooh. Energy tank acquired. Maximum energy increased by 100. Well, that is mine now. So there's something up there. But I need the spider ball to get to it. So let's just continue onward then. Nope. That's a five, yeah. Okay, let's look at our map. Where do we have to go? So this room, that's something, the furnace. I can't go in there yet because I don't have the spider ball. So we'll make our way back through this way then. Bum bum. And now, instead of having to deal with those guys, I can just go through here. Sayonara, idiots. Okay. Shoot the bats. Um, hold on. Yeah, I need the double jump to get up there. Anything for me to scan? Through a sandstone wall. Uh, so it's not, it doesn't look like sandstone, but that I think sandstone is the um, morph ball bomb one. Oh hi. Don't I don't want to touch you. Okay. Beer. What's through here? I don't think I've been this way yet, but there's a. Um, a power up somewhere in here, or let's see. Yes, haha. -ha. Give me this more missiles. I'm going to need those for later. What does this say? 
Great poison comes from Talon's core. That which fouls the water seeks the sun. Because he dwells critical. Okay. Well. What's in here? More things. More stuff. Roots originate over walls. No decomposition detected. Host plant appears to thrive on toxic water. Alrighty. What's that? Symbol has been activated. Four runic symbols in this room must be activated. So that's one. I see another one right there. Whoops. Keep getting it backwards. It's been activated. Four must be activated. Um, trace sediments indicate water once flowed here. Uh, large metal gate blocks the entrance to the area beyond. Four unique symbols are on surface. Matching symbols must be scanned. Okay, it's been activated. Four unique symbols in this room must be activated. Where's the one I'm missing? Come on. So I'm missing one. Let's jump down here and see what I can see. So there's that one. Got that one on the floor. This is warning space here. Gotta say, not a terribly effective uh, strategy against me, at least. Where is the one that I'm missing, is the question. Eh. Eh. Hmm. Keep looking around for a scannable point. Water once flowed here. Okay. There's one more. One more that I must locate. Perhaps it is here. Yes. All right. That was the last one. So now it's been unlocked. Oh, whoa. Well then. And that's the charge beam. Cool. What's the lore though? So the lore translated, disaster struck suddenly. We had a vague, dark foreboding, and it became truth. A meteor appeared from nowhere, casting a dark shadow of debris over the land with the violence of its impact. Its destructive force spent. The fallen star burned itself out rapidly, and the incident should have faded into memory. But the meteor, meteor brought with it corruption. A great poison burst forth into the land, a strange energy that clawed at natural life with a ferocity. That strange negative energy emitted from the meteor expanded to encompass Talon Four in a night as a spider weaves a web. Hmm. Well, now we got the charge beam. We're getting there. Charge beam acquired. Hold to charge, release to fire. Yep, yep. New extras unlocked in the main menu. So now these guys are going to be like, haha, we have you trapped. This was a trap all along. But I'm going to be like, nope. I have a charge beam. Haha. -ha. You thought you had the upper hand, but it was me, Samus. Get something in this crate. Okay, now we can make our way downtown. Across the poisonous waters. So, the Chozo were talking like a great toxin. Hold up. Wait, no, 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 no. Let's not leave yet. I see something. I see something. Don't think I didn't. 
on the map. The map is showing me something. Aha! You thought I wouldn't notice. I almost didn't, but I did. Where does this lead me? To this. Hmm. What is this? Moderate mechanical activity indicates the machine is still active. Four ventilation fans still functional despite multiple failed electrical connections. There's a uh, track there. Missile expansion. Heavily weakened. Sufficient blast drum will likely result in complete destruction. Um, so let's try that then. Yes. And now we get more missiles. Okay. We got more missiles, and it looks like something leads up there, but we don't have the spider ball yet. So this is somewhere we're going to have to come back later. I hope the ions didn't respawn. That would be atrocious. Oh, they respawned. I am atrocious. Okay. Hold on. Eh. Holding these controllers is not very fun, generally. Alright, that's that. Looks like they're still just hurt by that, so I'll not bother. Missiles? Yes. Give. It's like these respawned. Clear them out. I don't need anything really. Oop. Okay. Back through here. Eh, over there. And let's go ahead and hit this safe station here. And with that, I will end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this game for sure. Uh, and I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.